Hey everybody, Rick here with Departure Heaven. Folks, as you know, Iran has fired on Israel. They have attacked Israel, folks. And we never thought that would ever happen. They always, We always thought they would hide behind their proxies. Well, for the first time, they are now directly attacking Israel. This is breaking news, folks. Now today, earlier, I went live for a couple minutes before I had to go to work. And I was ranting and raving the majority of the, of the live broadcasts how always the major breaking events always happen on the weekends when I got to work. It never happened. Nothing never happens. It's crickets all during the week when I'm off. But it's, it's all wolves and hounds and major breaking stuff happens when I got to go into work. And I couldn't focus on what I was talking about so I cut the broadcast early I had to hurry up and get to work I had 10 minutes before I had to leave my house and I just deleted the broadcast like 10 minutes of it so that broadcast don't look for it it's been deleted but when I got home tonight I just got home about a, about five ten minutes ago okay and it's super late it's like it's like four in the morning almost and uh here it is, folks. This is Newsmax. Israel, Israel, Iran fired 200 plus drones, and it takes about eight hours for the drones to reach their targets. I heard to get to Israel. I mean, these things don't go fast like jets. Okay, and then it has a comma after the drones, and it says missiles. The vast majority shot down. They're wearing down their Iron Dome, folks, before they bring in the big boys. And I don't know what they're going to do when they wear the Iron Dome down. Now, folks, we know that when this dome, Iron Dome system of Israel wears down, down to hardly anything, and then Iran's going to start really firing the bigger shots at them with the bigger missiles and everything. This is what I believe when Lord, when our, our Father in Heaven comes in and intervenes supernaturally into Israel and protects her. Rather, it's going to be an earthquake that shakes all of Earth, all of uh, Iran, Iran, or which I personally don't think he's going to do. That's just my personal opinion. Or you know, he'll shoot down them, shoot down all the missiles and drones or whatever with fireballs from out of nowhere, like in the movie Left Behind, which I personally don't think is going to happen. And I know I can't just sit here and say that, but I personally, this is my opinion, I don't think that's how he's going to intervene. But I do think he's going to intervene like this. I believe the Antichrist is waiting to be released from his, uh, whatever you want to call it, sitting place that he's been sitting for years Satan will activate him and he will come onto the world scene and swoop right in before Israel gets fully destroyed by Iran and he'll stop the war like a referee jumps into a fight and stops the fight from going beyond a certain point point. and I believe that is what's coming next but this is the beautiful part about all this is the rapture must take place before the Antichrist gets revealed, folks. We are going home at any time, folks. This is amazingly close, how close this could happen. Over the next 48 hours, even 24 hours, that we could see a rapture of the church happen, folks. Are you ready, folks? I'm excited about how close we are to the rapture. I don't know about you. Now, I'm not excited about is seeing Israel get impounded by missiles. I don't want to see anything happen to Israel. We love Israel. We don't want to see Israel, you know, get destroyed. But this has been prophesied in your Bible, folks, that this would happen. Ezekiel 38, Isaiah 17, the Psalm 83 war, Gog and Magog, all is in the making right now. We, we are witnessing history, okay, folks, for the first time with an, a direct conflict between Israel and Iran. For years, it's just been these proxies. Now, Israel 
can have the now Israel is gonna now we know Israel's been talking about this a lot for the past two years how they want to destroy Iran's nuclear facilities, folks, and it is going to happen now. They are gonna do this, folks. Okay, they are gonna do this. Okay, and that means Iran, Israel are not gonna. I don't see a de-escalation de in this anytime soon. And I heard a second wave of attacks are coming. From, from Iran to Israel. Israel in America is standing together on this one. That, uh, that the president vowed to do everything in his power to defend Israel, which is a great thing that our president's doing. And we're to pray for him. And he's gonna, they're sending their military warships into position to defend, Isra to defend Israel. So I wouldn't be surprised if any of those ships have fired off any rockets at the, Iran's missiles yet. I haven't seen it. I just got home. So we're seeing this with our very eyes, folks, that Iran and Israel are fighting for the first time. As of the 13th of April, I believe that's when this whole thing started. That's when Iran finally made it. They launched their attack yesterday, I believe around 3 34 o'clock. In my time zone, that was around 4 30. And that was when I had to go to work. I mean, they just started firing right before I had to go to work. And that's why I was ranting and raving. I say, really, this could have happened yesterday during Thursday when I was off all day? This I would have did a total live broadcast emergency uh, coverage on it the whole time this was going on. But it had to happen when I had to work, so I couldn't do anything, folks. I was at work and not in front of my console here where I could have brought to you this as it broke out. <sighs> but that's okay. I'm home now. And um, let me just take you to this real quick. It's really late. You know, I can stay up late if I want to, really late if I want to, but I'm tired and wore out from work. So let me just break it down real quick. I don't like doing broadcasts and late videos like this at night. Especially like this, this late at night. But this is something major, folks. <sighs> this right here, Iran attacks Israel. Netanyahu vows victory after Iran strikes. Flights from Israel resume after airspace reopen. Okay, I don't know what, but... Okay, well, let me get out of that, and let's go to here, folks. Let me just play this for you real quick. This is from Newsmax. They're a Christian-based news network. And let you hear so what's going on here. This was, this was uh, recorded at six hours ago. This is an opportunity to end the reign of terror. Rudy Giuliani on the Iranian attack. I really do think uh, we're missing an opportunity, a historic opportunity here, if we had a president like my old boss in the White House. Every time I was mayor and I had to make a difficult decision, I would say, what would Ronald Reagan do? I know what Ronald Reagan would do right now. He, he, he would have hit Iran before their first missile got to Israel. Mm. And he would have taken out every- okay, You see that, folks? <clears throat> Right there, folks, this is happening over this familiar, uh, you all should know what that is. That's a holy spot of Israel, Dome of the Rock, and he would have taken missiles out. are raining over this. And the movie Left Behind, Kirk Cameron movie that was came out in the early 90s, they showed a scene just like this. It was at night, folks. And it showed him out by the Dome of the Rock while these rockets were coming down, just like the movie. And then a couple days later, the rapture took place. Watch the movie, it's good. Every nuclear facility he could. Because he would have been trying to look for an opportunity to do that for years. Now, we take out their nuclear facilities. Uh, here's what the uh, traders who run our government say. They say, oh, they'll just build it back up again. Well, that'll take them 10 years to do it. Also, if you really know what's going on inside Iran, if we were to hit them before they hit us, it would destroy it would destroy them. I mean, they obviously are a frightened enemy. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there, folks. Um, 
Let's go here. And welcome back here to Live Now from Fox. I'm Andrew Kraft. We're approaching the bottom of the hour here. Uh, it's a good place. Israel putting its forces on high alert Saturday night, shutting down its airspace as Iran launched dozens of drones and missiles toward the country. Yeah, there it is, folks. It's it's happening. And this is huge Bible prophecy stuff that's going on right now, folks. The attack retaliation for a strike on Iran's consulate earlier this month that killed two top Iranian generals. I'm gonna make this I'm gonna end this video with my thoughts on this, folks. My final thoughts on this is that we are seeing history taking shape right now very before our very eyes, okay? What we're about to witness now over the next 48 hours is only up to God what he wants to do next. Will he continue to let Israel get pounded? Or will he intervene by calling his church out of here when God has to do something for the first time in the open, supernaturally, I believe it's going to kick off with the rapture of the church. I strongly believe that with all my heart. And then the Antichrist, so the Antichrist can come in and stop this war. And stop it all from going to World War III. Where they press the buttons, folks. Turn the keys and they press the button. And the codes are accepted. They crack the key cards. You know, we're hearing that uh, Russia and Iran are like together. They're totally like big good buddies. And uh, I heard that Russia could get involved in this. And that spells out a big, big escalation in all this. If Russia gets involved with Iran, remember, if Israel and America start pounding Iran, Iranian targets inside Iran, and we, we go in and we start attacking Iran, Russia's gonna, Iran's going to say, look, Russia, help us out. And Russia's going to come right in with all their missiles and everything. And there's going to be a war on the ocean against those Navy ships they sent out there from America against versa Russia and Iranian ships. And that's going to start. And God only knows how many nuclear missiles are just waiting to be launched right now, folks. So that's a ground surface to ground war right there. Plus you got boots on the ground everywhere that can happen. So that this whole thing, if the Israel goes down, the whole world can go down with it, folks. I just heard that somewhere. If if the bombs go down, we go up. We know that saying. But if we see the Russians get involved, even China could help them as well. This will go to the next level. It will definitely be what would what it would take to trigger World War Three. I'm talking the nuclear part of World War Three. So, folks, I didn't want to make this a long video. I'm tired. I want to go right to sleep. Okay, I've been all been all all day working. So, I wish this would have happened yesterday when I was off, relaxing, not doing much. I could have jumped right on air and did this thing live as it broke. So tomorrow, or today, it's Sunday, we'll do an emergency live broadcast. And I think, let's see, I don't know what time I'll have it on. Let's see, I probably when I get up, maybe about, do it at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Okay, unless... I'll tell you what, I'll check. What I'll do is I'll do play it by ear. I'll look at the news. If if huge, more escalated stuff starts, if things really, really get bad, I'll go live right away. Folks, I'm not going to put a time on my show tomorrow. I'm not going to put a... I'm not going to schedule it, and you'll see it in your news, in your subscription feed. I'm just going to go live. I'm going to... When I get up, I'm going to check the news... And if things are really bad and there's missiles and bombs going everywhere, I'll go live. Okay, just look, be on the lookout and keep checking your subscription feeds on that. And that's how I'm going to do it tomorrow. Okay? And I'll be doing it live periodically throughout the day and night, possibly. And then Prophecy Mondays, of course, we will go live at 8.30, our normal show. And I'll have all my panelists with us. Alright? So, folks... I cannot stress it enough that right now, if you're not a, if you do not believe in Jesus Christ, folks, 
you are playing with fire right now with your eternal statehood. Or in other words, your eternal intern you're playing with fire with your eternity, folks, okay? I'm tired, I'm sorry, I can't think right now, but you're playing with your eternity. You're playing with fire. In other words, you will get burned as you're playing with fire. If you do not believe in Jesus Christ now, folks, please do it now. Because in the next 10 minutes, the rapture could take place. I believe it's that near now. Now that Israel is being attacked by Iran. I've been talking about this for years with my with my dad and I. have been going back and forth about this. And with other people that I know that, that are watchers like me. That I think the rapture is going to take place when Israel gets fully attacked by Iran. That's when we think it's going to happen. Because that's the big one that everybody's been talking about. That someday Israel's going to come under attack by the one that once Israel wiped off the face of the earth. So, is this the big one that we've been talking about? It's starting to look like it. We'll see. It, I, it may, this could all just de-escalate really fast over the next couple days. And it could be that's it, and it all fizzle out, and then and then Israel you know, <clears throat> it could attack Iran's nuclear facilities a couple weeks later in retaliate, retaliatory strikes, retaliate. I don't know, folks. At this point, we don't know. I mean, well, I watched another video about this, and this guy said that he thinks this is the beginning, and it's going to go on for 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 a couple of days more or weeks, and it's just the beginning. It's going to get a lot worse. Like I said, I don't know. We're not there yet. This has only been going on for about 20, about 15 hours now. For less than that. So, get yourself right with God, folks. Believe in the one that died for your sins. For your, for your, your sins are all paid for by the blood of Christ. Believe in Jesus right now, folks. Today is the day of salvation, especially today, because... Now we don't know what's going to happen out of all this. And what God is, what is he thinking about right at this moment? And what is he getting ready to do about it? You, the non-believer, I'm talking to you. You should be trembling in your boots right now, seeing this happen right now with Israel. Because you're about to get left behind, folks. That person that I'm talking to, I'm talking to you and millions of billions of other non-believers right now. You're about to get left behind at any moment. So do not wait it off and see what happens and sit off to the sidelines and watch. Get right now. Get on your knees. Ask Jesus in your life. Truly believe he died for your sins. That way you're rapture ready. When we disappear, you'll disappear with us. Okay? Don't wait around. Okay? And all the rest of us that do believe that are fully saved by the blood of Christ. Hallelujah, folks. Praise Father in heaven. We could be going home at any moment. Okay? This is it, folks. I think time is up. I'm beginning to believe this is the year that this is going to happen. That we are going to see the Antichrist come to the finally, finally make his appearance on the world. That means we have to be raptured first. 2024, folks, is a year to be watching. My father told me that if he's got to come this year, if he's coming this year... That means that Israel has to be involved in a big war with Iran and all of its neighbors. And this is the beginning of this, folks. I believe this is it. That we are ready to see this happen at full speed. And watch your eyes on Israel. That is the key, folks, I believe, to the rapture of the church right now. All right, guys. This is a long video, a 19 minute video. It's not that long, but I'm gonna relax, go to bed, get, get out of this clothes and take a shower, close my eyes, and what will be next tomorrow? What will tomorrow bring, folks? When I wake up and I see the news for the first time when I flip on my computer, what am I gonna see? And we're going to see Isaiah 17 while I wake up to that. They said it'll become a ruinous heap overnight, folks. In, in 24 hours, it can happen. Will we see that happen? Will we see why I wake up to Psalm 30? Why I wake up to the Psalm War? Or I wake up to the Gog and Magog War? Or why I wake up to Ezekiel 38? I don't know, folks. I'll tell you one thing. If that is, I definitely will go live as soon as I see it. 
All right, guys. I love you all, and I will see you in the clouds, folks. I'm going to end with that. Forget about subscribing and hitting the like button. I'm gonna, I'll want to. i see you in the clouds. Because that's how close I think it's getting ready to happen. But still subscribe and hit the like button. <laughs> okay, guys. Talk to you later. God bless you all. I will see you. Take care.